It is my goal to expose and eliminate the cons, the gimmicks, the shell games, and the smoke and mirror snow jobs involved in this industry. Call or click 404 Eclipse. Hello again, it's Reggie Moon with Eclipse, USA and Associates, brokered by EXP. So you get the magic sentence. You hear from the husband and wife, this is the one, this is the one we want. What do you do next? That's a great question. Let me tell you what you don't do next. Let me tell you what you don't do first. You don't say, well, let's write it up. Don't do it. You're getting ahead of yourself. Here's what you do. You call the lender and you say, hey, lender. Hey, I'm out here with so-and-so. We, uh, we, th we found the house. I know they're qualified for X. Here's the, here's the list price of this house. I need you to pull property taxes. Let's get the insurance, homeowner's insurance part. Get that conversation going because I want to make sure these folks can close. I know they. I know I've got a lender letter, an approval letter, but let's look at the property taxes and homeowner's insurance on this place and make sure they can do it. Then you start asking questions. Hey, guys, if you guys like it, I like it. But I haven't pulled the comparables on this one. I know it's listed for X. Let's make sure houses that are comparable to this house are selling for X. Let me pull the comparables. Get, just slow down and find out, is the house worth what it's listed for? Call the listing agent. Hey, you got any offers cooking? You got anything imminent? Because I got one coming at you. Maybe hit hit the brakes if you've got another offer. Very important. Uh, tell the agent when it's coming and then deliver it when you say you're going to deliver it. And, and then find out things that actually go in the contract. Like, hey, buyers... How much can you put down for earnest money? When do you think you can close? 30 days? 40? 20? Okay, let's put that down. When do you want to take possession? Oh, we want to take possession at closing. Everybody wants to take possession at closing. But for $1,000 earnest money, folks still live in this house. That They're... They're not going to leave. They're not even going to start packing the first box with $1,000 earnest money. They may start packing after your contingencies run out. That's another conversation. If I was a, a seller, I wouldn't pack the first box. But look, you want to take possession at closing and folks still live here. It's probably not going to happen that way. So don't ask for it. And if you're, look, if you're a seller if, and, and, the, and the, your agent says they want to take possession at closing, don't say yes to it. Do not say, yes, you can take possession at closing if your family is still in the house. Don't do it. Trust me, it's a, it's a bad it's a bad question and it's a bad answer. Okay, so let's talk about the other things that go in the contract. Seller paid closing cost. Hey, lender, about how much is are the closing costs going to be? Hey, buyer, can you pay your down payment plus? Let's do the let's do the math here. This is your down payment, this is your closing cost that the sellers are not paying. Get that conversation started then, like right then. While they're thinking about, oh, this is a one, how do we do it? What are we going to have to do? What's our next move? They're calling their friends and family. We found the house. Oh, stop, stop. I'm glad you're glad, but huh, there's a couple of things we got to make sure of to, just so you won't be on that emotional roller coaster. Okay, let's get back to it. So with this buyer, you want to let them know everything we've talked about is going to go on the contract and you're going to get it tonight. I'm going to get you to click and sign. We're going to have a conversation after I fill in the blank. Ag agents say, well, let me go write it up. Or let me go draw up the papers. It's fill in the blanks. There's no, nobody's drawing. It's like, it's like he's taking a, it's like he's taking a, let me go draw up the papers. That's just dumb. It's a fill in the blanks form. Okay. Let me go fill everything out exactly as we've discussed. I'll email it to you. You'll be able to click and sign. I will have spoken with the lender again. I'm going to call the, the listing agent and say, here is what's coming. It's an offer coming for X, and you'll have it tonight. A lot of agents keep it a secret until, until the offer shows up magically on email. That's dumb. Tell the, tell the agent, here's what's coming. Give me, give me 90 minutes. It'll be on your email. Why agents don't do that, I'll never know. They just say, I got an offer coming. No other details. That is just, it doesn't make any sense. If you already know the details, 
Tell the listing agent what's coming. What? I don't, it doesn't, why don't agents do that? It's just another thing that agents do that does not make any sense. Anyway, you know how to reach me? It's Reggie Moon, Eclipse USA and Associates, brokered by EXP. I can be reached anytime, 404 Eclipse. We'll talk soon. Thanks.